what's going on guys it's your boy leviathan back at it again with a new build um i want to go ahead and uh talk about mechanist and it's a really fun class to play with um it's going to be one really cool one as well it's pretty unique compared to all the other classes and it's going to be one of the newest ones that just got added into the game um i believe that was last week um, I'm gonna go over the skills, engravings, and stats that you're gonna go ahead and need for this. Also some gems and cards that I would recommend running with um, Mechanist. Um, but before I forget, if you don't mind just dropping a like and sub uh, so that I, we can go ahead and make more of this kind of content. Um, and drop down a comment below what kind of class you wanna see next. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and link my social media down below so you can catch any streams that I'm gonna be doing uh, pretty soon. Uh, gonna be about Warzone and also uh, Lost Ark, so please check that out. But let's get on with it. So to start off, this is gonna be an evolutionary legacy build, so this is just gonna be mainly focusing on this. I'll go ahead and make another build about the Arthen Arthenian skill uh, engraving, so that you guys could go ahead and kind of pick and choose whichever you like. Um, just let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna go ahead and see that, but again, try to get that out as soon as possible. Um, and essentially what you want to go ahead and focus on with uh, evolutionary legacy is going to be your crit and specialization with specialization you want to go ahead um, and focus on this more since this is going to be increasing your um, core energy recovery your sync skill damage and then your awakening skill damage so that's going to be kind of the benefit of that and again just crit for crit rate increases um, since mechanist doesn't actually have that high of crit rate so the main advantage to Evolutionary Legacy is being able to use your Hypersync mode uh, basically a lot quicker compared to with the other class engraving. Um, essentially, you are going to be able to get this um, Hypersync mode a lot quicker since it actually recovers 40% of your core energy when you actually uh, cancel it. So it is going to be useful in that. Um, and then also going to be increasing your damage and then also increasing the max stacks of this as well. Um, so with, um, with that, you, well, you want to go ahead and pick up, um, your main blue skills, which are going to be focusing on increasing your core energy gain. Um, I'll go ahead and add in flare beam, baby drones, and raid missile here, just so you can go ahead and take a look. And again, what you want to mainly focus on is core energy charge. You want to get that for all three skills. And the other ones are just going to be for increasing um, damage essentially. I want to go ahead and put on these blue skills is going to be wealth which is going to be increasing the specialty meter gain by 40% uh, for the legendary one. Um, again whichever wealth um, class you got that's going to be basically helping out your meter gain as much as possible. Um, so mainly focus on trying to get those. So for your yellow skills what you want to go ahead and get is going to be mobile shot and back strike. Um, with these skills, you basically are just going to be your movement skills to get increased attack speed and movement speed. Um, nothing too dramatic about it. Backflip strike is going to be very useful in actually getting away from certain um, attacks, which I really find super useful. Uh, but again, I'll go ahead and add these here with the correct tripods that you want to go for. And again, just increasing the attack speed and movement speed. Um, that's the main focus on this. Now for your main DPS skills are going to be your purple skills. You want to go ahead and pick up Annihilation Mode, Fiery Escape, and Energy Buster. I'll go ahead and put in the correct tripods here. Uh, for Annihilation Mode, you do want to go ahead and get Battery Saving Mode since it is going to be one of the highest costing um, skills in there. And then also with Energy Buster, you want to go ahead and focus on getting um, Lightning Burster, uh, which is going to just increase the crit rate and damage of that skill. Um, with these, they're very basic. Again, just good way to deal some quick damage um, and then in terms of your awakening you want to go ahead and just pick up airstrike now airstrike is going to be the lower damage one compared to uh, final explosion but it does also um, give you a really quicker or it gives you a quicker um, meter gain compared to final explosion um, again it's really preference if you want to go for final explosion since it does deal more damage but um, again, the main focus of Evolutionary Legacy is getting your um, hypersync mode up as fast as possible since you're going to be mainly staying in that mode with the correct gems, stats, and skills um, to be able to do that basically 24-7 the entire time. 
Now, what the gems you want to focus on is going to be on your sync skill. That's going to be essentially for your um, hyper sync mode. That's going to be able to allow you to cast these skills a lot quicker, deal more damage out as fast as possible. Um, and then again, every other gem, again, basic ones for attack and cooldown reduction. But your main focus is going to be sync skill. I have seen that a lot of people have been picking Grudge, Curse Doll, Barricade, Raid Captain, Adrenaline, and of course Evolutionary Legacy. Um, these are going to be the main skills that a lot of people are going to be running. Again, I see Grudge, Curse Doll, and Raid Captain being one of the more focused ones. Barricade just going to be increasing your damage. Again, kind of synergy when you got a Bard on play. Um, and then Adrenaline just increasing your crit rate, which is kind of needed for mechanist since it doesn't he doesn't have high crit rate compared to other classes like sorceress um but again this is what i've seen a lot of people and that's what i'm currently running and so far it's great um i do a huge amounts of damage and um again i this is kind of what everyone has been playing or running in their build basically um a card set that i really recommend that's really easy to get is going to be field boss 2 um, really easy way to get increased crit rate. Um, again, Light of Salvation is another great one. And then um, the one I'm currently running is Lost Wind Cliff set. Um, that's gonna be, again, a kind of a mid tier and then compared to uh, Light of Salvation, one of the higher tiers. But again, these are just increasing the crit rate of Mechanus, which is kind of needed since he doesn't have um, as much crit rate unless he synergizes with like um, other classes that increase crit rate for that. So this is going to be the end of a Mechanist build. Um, again, this is mainly focused on Evolutionary Legacy build. Um, and hopefully you guys get great results with this and I hope to hear about it. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys want to go ahead and see more builds or see a specific build, just drop a comment down below. Um, just let me know and I'll try to get that out as soon as possible. Again, um, social media down below. So go check it out so that we can go ahead and make some more streams. But that's going to be it, guys. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>